Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to XCOM 2 Extended. I've decided, I've thought about it a little bit, we're just not going on a mission without Robot Man. Or not going on the next plot mission without Robot Man. You know, it's just, the specialist is so important, the gremlin is so valuable. In fact, on our next mission we're going to bring a rookie, maybe even two rookies, because I really, really want to get a second specialist going so that we can, uh, we can do stuff. Maybe I'm overvaluing them. But actually, we do need one to serve as a medic anyway. I do want a medic spec specialist. So I think what we're going to do is disregard these supplies. I think we've built a lot of stuff this month. We're in an okay place upgrade-wise. And we're just going to start expanding over to here. It makes more sense to go through Oceania than it does to go through Africa because... Yeah, it's a couple more. It's an extra link through Africa. Uh, I do want to talk about this real quick. The... Positions of the territories are always the same, but the links between the territories are randomized between each game. Uh, I've had games where the southern tip of Africa territory connects to that southern South America territory, uh, but it did not did not generate that way this time. And I really like that. It's a way to keep the strategy layer from getting stagnant. If the links were always the same and the continent bonuses were always the same, there would be a there would be an objectively best way to play that you would just apply every map. This makes you have to actually do the thinking yourself each time you play, which I really like. Um, so Europe's bonus is okay. We could finish Europe up and get this, allowing us to unequip our weapon upgrades and personal combat sims so that we can re-equip them to somebody else. I don't think it's good enough to delay access to the facility for. And I do like Africa's bonus better than Oceania's bonus, so it would be cool to dig into Africa more quickly. You know what? We have a little bit of time. I think we can afford to go for the extra links. So, this is going to be 80 intel to connect here, and then we'll want to build a tower, and then we'll go 40 intel hop to here, and honestly probably build another tower because the Africa bonus requires two towers and building a tower in so South Africa doesn't make any sense at all. So we're gonna make an 80 jump and then a 40 jump and then a 40 and then another man this is gonna cost a lot of intel to get over there this way. I think it's worth doing. Spare parts is a good enough bonus. Let's just try to um, let's try to prioritize things to give us intel. For sector 12 in the near Africa. future. So we actually are going to need some supplies too for the building of the towers. To establish well, we'll get there. Regional contact. One thing at a time. Uh, I think the grenades were really close to completing. That's a shame. So 179 supplies and counter advent units get extra armor. Okay, this might be the source of our supplies. I really don't want advent units to have extra armor. Uh, or an engineer that's we really do need more engineers right now and that gives 93 intel shoot this is a tough one we actually have really we have really compelling reasons to take all of these because I hate this dark event and obviously you never have enough supplies an engineer would be really valuable to us right now and I mean not for nothing this is the lowest difficulty of the three missions <laughs> that does count for something to be fair, though, low difficulty means um, fewer aliens, for the most part, and that does mean less XP. Or we'd hit this up and get intel, and we don't know what it counters. It could counter something really devastating. We need the supplies and we need the intel, but it's easier to get supplies than it is to get intel. We're going to do this one. Destroy the alien relay. The Indian regional zone. I'm bummed out about it. I really liked... Uh, I would really like to counter that armor event. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, so I think we're, we're like I said, we're not going to bring Morrison. We're going to bring a new rookie because I want to try to get somebody else leveled up to specialist. You can uh, assign a rookie a class. You can assign a soldier a class using the Advanced Warfare Center, but it takes a little bit of time. And I'm going to give this I'm going to give this one more one more shot the natural way. Mostly because no matter what happens, it's good to have more people leveled up, right? Okay, so she gets to carry the med kit. She has eight health in the armor. That's fine. Um, everybody else has got their stuff on. She gets cool armor. She gets her own signature armor color when she uh, lives long enough to get a nickname. 
All right, I think this is it. I don't think we, we want to do anything particularly fancy yet. I'm a little concerned that that plot mission that I've been putting off might be too easy when we go to do it due to me delaying for so long. Sky Ranger um, in position to drop. It's possible that I've been overcautious. Some might say cowardly, and I wouldn't necessarily yeah, disagree. Came across an odd series of transmissions coming out of this region, and we've narrowed oh, yeah. it down to a hidden alien communications relay transmitting to the Advent network. We can't pass up any opportunities to disrupt their progress on the latest operation. So we're moving in to take out that relay. Neutralize any hostile contacts near the site, lock it down, and destroy the target. We kind of look like a bunch of really murderous Power Rangers now. <clears throat> I understand that that show is still running. I haven't seen it in a long time. I haven't watched it since I was a little kid. Maybe they're murderous by now. I know everybody's all about these dark and gritty reboots these days. You know what, come to think of it though, didn't the Power Rangers of my youth have guns? Like they all had a, like a ninja weapon, right? And I know the Pink Ranger had a bow and arrow, so maybe they also all had ranged weapons? It seems to me that somebody had like a laser pistol. I don't know that it got used a lot. It seems to me that you would probably be able to close out an encounter with some putties pretty quickly with a laser gun. Okay, I have a love-hate relationship with this map. The, uh, the map that has the big, the big highway on it. Alright, I think we're gonna, we're gonna want to send Zoo up there because she really, really loves high ground. She's getting Heading to that location. easy 100% shots on high ground between her naturally high aim and, uh, her damn good ground thing. So let's, let's go ahead and send Zoo up here. I still don't know, X, XU is tough, and then the transliteration is not always perfect, and... It could be zoo, could be shoe, could be bullets. We're just call her bullets. We're gonna send bullets up here. That sounds kind of silly. Bowling. Is it possible that bullets is okay. not a good nickname for a soldier? I don't know. That sounds crazy. Closing on top. Uh, we don't see anything. Nine. We came in uh, in concealment though, so I can afford to double move. I've blown my concealment a couple of times now by just double moving recklessly into spaces I couldn't Moving see and getting spotted by civilians. That's what all of this vision over here represents. Because um, apparently the civilians are like super eager to just I mean not to put too fine a point on it, just totally tattle on us, which is frustrating for me. I can't believe anybody's falling for this alien nonsense. I mean, like, I, I understand the, the plot was retconned a little bit, right? In between the games. To designated coordinates. Um, and almost all of the stuff that happened in the first game actually didn't happen in the in the new timeline, right? Because it was all alien simu- Everything I remember from the first game is alien simulations. The stuff that the commander was put through. This is risky, but I think we're going to go for it. I can't get a safe- I cannot get a safe blue move up on here to see what's up here first. I guess Copy we'll that. take it. We'll take it the safest possible way. We'll stop here. This will give us cover, and we'll be able to see if there's anything up here. And it looks clear. So we'll have her cross to the uh, the other side next turn. Um, but like I was saying, uh, none of the stuff that I remember happening happened. So maybe there weren't alien terror missions and stuff. Oh. She is not alone. Alright, well, she's in cover. They can't... They can't attack her from here, but they might... Oh. We can hear robots. Somewhere, there are robots. Uh, she cannot get to real cover. She can't get behind the car in a blue move. Shoot. What are we going to do about this? Can we get anybody? We can get up here, but it's this is close enough that even behind cover it's visible. Where's the grenade launcher? Can you just, like, arc a grenade launcher shot up here? No, not really. She's underneath it right now, so that makes things a little tricky. But we could step her out to... Uh, we can't step her out very far. We'd step her out to, like, over here, and then she could launch a big grenade, and this could be our open. 
Because the, the building is actually not very far away. We don't need a lot of time to get done what we're trying to get done here. Moving. Yeah, let me see if I can land a grenade up there. If I can, we're going for it. Yep. It's a shame those plasma grenades didn't finish before the mission, but this is going to really hurt them. And then we're going to have to make some decisions from there. But I don't like letting them get any closer to us up here because we don't have a way to get up here without alerting them. Alright, so let's see what happens. I intentionally did not put bullets on Overwatch because putting her on Overwatch ends her turn uh, and doesn't allow her to shoot twice. And I would rather her get two shots than have the one better shot. Especially since if they jump down, she'll, uh, even in cover, she'll have pretty good odds against them, thanks to damn good ground. Yeah, 94. Well, I think she's gonna shoot at the Viper, because I am not afraid of Sectoids. Alright, the thing about Sectoids, uh, nobody else is gonna have good angle on this guy. The thing about sectoids is that they tr they vastly prefer using their um, using their psionic powers to actually. Where is she at? Yeah, you know what? We'll just shoot. Screw moving the cover. They vastly prefer using their psionic powers to um, anything else. They don't want to shoot at you most of the time. They only really shoot at you if they have a really easy flank. There you go. I was hoping I was going to get the lightning hands uh, hit there and be able to I'm going. shoot, shoot, and move. I don't want to move up this far because I'm afraid of revealing something, but we can kind of, like, there would it would have to be right here. Right? We don't actually reveal that much territory by moving up to here. Ah, it's still dangerous. Parvati... Can I guess go to here? Um, yeah, so I keep disrupting myself while speaking. Um, sectoids just are not scary. By the way, she's had salvo for like the entire game, and I don't think I've used it even once. Which is crazy, because salvo is a really good ability. Serious infrastructure damage. We're sorry, everybody. We'll we'll rebuild that. On we'll the way. Buy that guy a new car. Nope, doesn't see anything. <laughs> Next turn, she can move to a. Uh, I hope it's worth it. To a position where she can actually see the other side of the spot. overhang. Oh, some kind of green robot. It. What is this green robot? It doesn't have that much health. It went on Overwatch immediately, rather than attacking us. A mech archer. Well, that strongly implies uh, long-range weaponry, obviously. Can bullets see any of them? No, I didn't think so. Can she throw grenades at them? Uh, it looks like we can't hit this guy, but we might be able to damage his cover. Yeah, the grenade targeting is weird. You can see me mousing over that area that was lit up. Well, let's come back to this way. Yeah, they go over here. Grenade out! We'll just we'll just break up this guy's cover. <laughs> Exploded before she threw it, but all right. So let's see here. Billy can move to this position. Where she would get a pretty okay face-off. That guy has a grenade launcher. We have to be cognizant of that. That's a problem. This gives her a pretty good set of shots, but actually that robot is in Overwatch, so hold on. Let's see if we can't fix that first. Where's everybody else? Grenade launcher is in... Man, grenade launcher is in the distant... The distant, distant okay, distance. Okay, I'll go. Alright, we'll just move to here, I guess. This won't trigger Overwatch. And can I get a grenade out there? Well, this actually is uh, bad, I think, because this destroys the line of sight blocker. 
that he's standing in front of and will definitely get us hit. I could do this, which will probably make the robot the only one that we have to deal with. <sighs> Shoot. We gotta get that guy off Overwatch somehow. Well, <laughs> we don't have a lot of options. We basically... Uh, he can throw a grenade. It doesn't go far enough to... If we do any damage to the robot, it stops his overwatch. We're just going to go for the chain shot. It only has a 55% chance of hitting. How about a normal shot? Yeah, a normal shot almost kills the robot. And hits 70%. There we go. Alright. So the robot is now critically injured and not in overwatch mode. Is there any place that she can stand where she has vision of it? Alright, All right, well we're just gonna I'll move go. here. I can't believe she can't see that robot from here. Alright, so she softens everybody up, which is not the best thing in the world, because obviously the best thing in the world is killing everyone. Um, I suppose I probably should have just... I'm a little reticent to use my second grenade already, is my only concern, but I could have done this and had her, had uh, Billy's face-off probably hit the robot. My other option is I could frost bomb. They're too far apart for the frost bomb to hit. Oh, no, they're not. You know what, let's do this. This allows us to focus the rest of our turn on dealing with this robot. Ha! She got the critical. Did two damage on the thing that doesn't deal damage. That's pretty good. So we just need you to move to a place where you can kill that robot. Yeah, this'll do. Going in for the kill. Yeah, so Already we got the running there. gun because she ended up on the wrong side of the battlefield. 100%, 95%, 59. Damn it, I forgot to give her her axe back. Okay, there we go. Who's keeping score? Alright, another promotion. And now, the rookie has an opportunity to pick up a kill here. Unfortunately, she does Moving not have location. a stock. I didn't give her gun a stock. I probably should have. What are you shooting at? That wasn't... <laughs> Seriously, who was that directed at? Because it kind of looked like she was trying to shoot Billy. Alright, let's see if we can see if we can get a kill for the rookie. So the rookie can pull a flank pretty easily. Although apparently this space doesn't give cover. On my way. Right, this one does. Let's see if the rookie can pick this officer up. Alright, that's a promotion. Bullets don't run through the fire. Go around the fire. What is wrong with you? Also, there's not a fire in that space. I swear. So there's no way for her to get over to the wall. In fact, there's no way for her to go anywhere. She wants to run through the fire so badly. Alright. Hold on. One thing at a time here. Let's, uh... Let's move Billy up to a position where she has a nice easy flank shot, get the loot, because it is important. We don't really have access to any... Ah, scope. Yeah, we don't have access to any of the really good uh, stuff yet. There are three levels of each gun improvement, uh, normal, advanced, and superior, and we have not, I think, gotten a single superior um, augment yet. There you go. Carbon that ice sculpture. Also, I like it. Her new voice makes her sound like she has a lot of enthusiasm for the job. I really appreciate that. Alright, uh, you, I guess, just move to here. Try to stay safe. Wow. Was that... Was that window partially made of meat? That animation was very confusing. Okay. I can't remember what the waypoint button is. Alright, it's control. 
yeah, waypoint here. I don't know why the game couldn't figure this path out by and itself. I'm on it. That's very strange. The path is usually really good at moving you around stuff. I, I think that, honestly, is the first time that I've had to use waypoints to just go around a, uh... Go around a thing. We're close. So it kind of looks like there's no aliens. There's definitely at least one more pack. I would be surprised if there weren't two more packs, sure honestly. Thing. And you can see the neutralize all enemy targets. Um, Mission objective is not completed. Apparently, I can't see the relay from here. I'm going. I was really expecting that I would be able to. Heading there now. I'm trusting you here. That's fine. We'll all just uh, go into Overwatch while Billy shoots the thing six times over the next two turns. Even with the pistol improved and her rifle not improved, the rifle still does more damage, but it does not do more damage than the double tap. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. And you can't miss, as far as I know, uh, cannot miss the transmitter. I guess we'll just keep moving this way. I don't know where the last pack of aliens is. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna move too too much. I just want out. these guys who are underneath the bridge to be in a position where they can actually okay, move forward. This uh this fence is a real problem. I want to be near the brakes. Okay, right. We'll go hunting this turn, or maybe they'll come to us. Oh great! Oh, it's in a pack that has more stuff in it. Okay. Well, we have five Overwatches for it. Wow, really great work, guys. Come on. Aw. That was the one I wanted to hit most. Alright. So we set it on fire. We stripped the rest of its armor. Uh, where is the grenade launcher? Because we have what looks to me like a pretty good grenade launching opportunity right here. Oh, okay. There we go. There is, there is a shot that hits the muton as well. I think that Wild Child and those two guys crouching by the fence are close enough together that they're going to get AoE'd. And that grenade crit has fired off, has happened twice already. That's actually pretty good odds. Oh, please don't just kill somebody. Close combat specialist. Oh, that would have be been a really good time for you to get a hit. Yeah, he's going to AoE him. Oh, he didn't. Okay, so let's figure this out. Zoo, our bullets here, has... Two great shots. You know what? She can almost kill this thing. And I think she's pretty much safe from its wrath. We're just going to go for it. We're just going to go really hard. Yeah, you're on fire. What now? What now? Is this going to totally own us? Was this the panic thing? Oh! It's running! Okay. That's actually really interesting. That gives me some information. Uh, because I wasn't sure previously if it ran away based on an amount of time if it was only allowed to be on the map for a certain number of turns or if it ran away based on damage and now I think it's pretty clear that it runs based on damage I, I think using lightning hands is not going to let it act afterwards so give it a little love tap yep and then do we do face off no we should hit it with something hard but it has to be somebody who doesn't have to take an action before shooting at it, which means it can't be the mag. Uh, we can't be the bolt launcher because she'd have to reload. It can't be bullets because she'd have to reload. It can be wild child. She could flesh six to eight. I mean, she can do six to eight damage just shooting it. Yeah, she's got a pretty good crit chance. See, the other the the reason I'm hesitating is that she could also just kill this muton. And the Muton has five health and isn't in cover. I'm not worried. Yeah, give it to him. 
Alright. And that takes another damage from the burning. Yeah, next time this thing shows up, it's toast. And I feel like we have a really good uh, understanding of how it works now. Hard target! Minimal damage! Oh, the ammo applies to her pistol, too. Oh, we gotta get some we gotta get some special ammo on Billy like yesterday. Uh, the pistol and the sniper rifle both have a 73% chance to hit. Like I said, I, we can just clear this guy up. I'm not worried at all. Okay. That's not sight. optimal. You still have a number of people. Can I you get close hit. enough to throw Moving a grenade out. at it? Let's just guarantee the kill. Enough screwing around. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. That went Status super confirmed. well. Mission accomplished. And we are that yeah, the Berserker Queen is dead for sure. Okay, so this hasn't really been too bad. There's one more of them to deal with after this, and I did not get a good look at what uh what enemy it's based on. We got I mean, I mean to be perfectly honest, we have been a little bit lucky. I say that it did it, an encounter with the Berserker Queen did directly lead to the death of one of our agents. But on the whole, we've been pretty lucky because we've been able to overwatch trap it both times. Not even intentionally the second time, just... If I may say so myself, just good solid play that second time. So, no injuries, that's pretty good. We're going to be able to take a full force crew to that weird plot mission. Uh, next video, probably, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be able to heal Robot Man before that. And, uh... Yeah, I'm excited about that. I, like I said, I don't really know a lot about the DLCs. I know a little bit about the DLC in that I know that it uh, it awards a new uh, a new trooper class, which I'm excited to have, and probably would it probably would have been good to get that earlier, actually. Uh, but I think we're gonna be we're gonna be okay. We're gonna get through that. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be fine. Because, like I said, I think, I, <laughs> I think I've actually, if anything, waited way too long. And we're probably going to overpower it a little bit. Maybe the Berserker Queen will show up during it and we can, uh, two birds with one stone, you know? Oh man, are we going to make armor out of the Berserker Queen, too? That would be pretty weird. Gear would hold up, Commander. It looks to me like it's working out just fine. Yes! Alright, very happy about this. What's her base hack? 51? Um, you saw the, the plus 20 that she had on her hack is just from being a specialist, just being having the gremlin around. Uh, oh, sorry. The plus 20, the, the, the fact that it was 51 instead of like 11 is from being a specialist. The plus 20 was because we have Mark II gremlins. All right, so uh, our best soldier is getting another upgrade. So she can get hit and run uh, once per turn, gain an additional move action after taking a standard shot at a flanked or exposed target with your primary weapon. So she can, it lets her run in, shoot something, and then run back to cover, which is cool. Uh, rapid fire. Fire twice in a row with each shot suffering an aim penalty of uh, minus 15. You'll note this is different from chain shot in that the second shot happens no matter what, even if you do miss. But the second shot also takes the aim penalty. You're probably thinking, hey, that sounds a lot better than chain shot. And you're right, it is way better than chain shot. It's possibly the best ability in the game. It's going to be very difficult not to take it. Once per turn, gain a bonus action after taking a standard shock with your primary weapon at an enemy within four tiles. So a straight bonus action. Hmm. So rapid fire lets us shoot twice in one action. Close encounters lets us shoot twice in two actions, with one of the actions being free. So this gives her the ability to run up, shoot something, and then try to melee... I'm actually pretty torn on this. I think that uh, Rapid Fire and Close Encounters are both very good. Rapid Fire is better. But... I would say Rapid Fire is better in a broad sense, in that it's more it's useful in more situations. Close Encounters really does require you to be, like, real close. Yeah, we're gonna take Rapid Fire. Think about how good the Rapid Fire is gonna be against, um... The alien leaders. That's one significant value of it. We got a scope. So, like for the scopes, basic scope is five percent aim. Uh, you have done an 
outstanding job leading the resistance. Commander. And then the next level Command. of scope we is rapidly develop and okay, guys. It... The next level of scope is ten aim, and the next level of scope is fifteen aim. They all work like that. You know, the basics. The basic stock is one damage. Then the next level is two, and the next level is three. Um, we haven't gotten. We've gotten a couple of things of the second I level. Blame Shen for I think they keep... may. They may all be laser sights, actually. <laughs> and then we've gotten nothing of the superior level, and I'm really pretty uh, pretty annoyed about that. But anyway, we are going to, next time, come back. We're going to let Robot Man heal the rest of the way. I think he'll probably be fine. And then we're going on that mission. Honestly, maybe we don't even need him. Maybe we can just take Parvati. No, he's all leveled up and has abilities. It is a plot mission. Let's give it a little bit of credit. Also, it's worth noting that she has 32 will and he has 94. He's not going to freak out if stuff gets weird. And he has a lot more hack than she does. Although part of that is just the fact that he's, you know, major. Anyway, come back next time. Plot missions, healing, better grenades. We're going to destroy everything. And we'll see you then.